Hi, I'm Caroline Duncan. I'm one of the haematology consultants. I work at Ragmore Hospital and I'm part of a haematology team, a number of doctors and nursing staff that work in the haematology department. So I'm going to explain a little bit about what happens when you meet the haematology team for the first time. Most of the time that will be when you come to the haematology clinic, but occasionally we might actually meet you for the first time up on the ward, either on our ward or if you're in the hospital for some other medical reason and there's a problem with your blood, we may end up coming to see you on that ward. The first time you come to the haematology clinic, unfortunately there may be quite a wait to be seen. It is a very busy clinic. We also do some video link-up clinics with people based around the Highlands and that might be a suitable option for you in the future. So sometimes if you're in the waiting room thinking no one else has been called through to be seen, it may be because we're on a video link-up. So bring a book because there may be a little bit of time to wait, I'm afraid. So the nursing staff will take you through first of all and they will check your height and weight uh, they will maybe do some other additional blood tests depending on what investigations you've had done so far. And then you'll go through to see the consultant and we'll have a chat through about the kind of symptoms that you have, the reasons why you've been referred up to the clinic and we'll go through a bit about your past medical history, any medical problems you've had before, the kind of medications you're taking so it's quite useful if you could bring your medicines or a list of your medicines with you to the clinic. And then we'll check you over, we'll examine you in the clinic if, if that's appropriate, depending on the reason why you've come up to the clinic. Then we'll want to have a chat through with you the tests that have been done so far and explain about the problems that there may be with your blood cells. And we'll talk about what further tests we need to do. The first time you come to clinic, we may be waiting for some additional investigation, so we may not have all the answers that day, and we may not be able to give you a diagnosis that day. We look after people with a whole different variety of blood problems, and not all of these are blood cancerous conditions. So it's important to know that when people are unwell for other reasons, for example, infections, or sometimes problems with their different medications or um, other medical conditions, it can cause problems with their blood cells. Sometimes we'll recommend some additional blood tests, some scans or CT scans, x-rays, possibly a bone marrow test and then we will see you back in the clinic to go through the results of those tests. Now sometimes those tests will come back very quickly and other times it will take a month or two to get all the investigations pulled together. We will also be able to provide you with some information on whatever's going on with your blood and some of these can be patient information leaflets, sometimes information about what treatment we're going to suggest that you have. We'd encourage you to bring somebody with you to clinic if you'd like. It's always helpful to have another pair of ears and there will be plenty of time for you to ask questions. You may wish to jot a few things down before you come to clinic just to help you remember all the things that you want to ask, particularly when it comes to the second consultation or if we're going through uh, results of investigations.